Okie dokie. In this problem, I will be using my computer so I can demonstrate the use of Excel in this problem. They ask us to use Euler's method with a step size of 0.2 to start at a t value of 0 and estimate the y value when the t value is 5. And so if the step size is 0.2, going from 0 to 5 will take a very long time to evaluate this method by hand. And so that's where Excel will come into play. We'll just go ahead and make a column for t values and a column for y values, just like we would in a little two uh, column chart, uh, you know, on paper on the iPad. So here we're going to start with our initial t value and initial y value. So t is 0, y is 4.286. And that, of course, comes from here, this little equation. And then because they tell us the step size is 0.2, we want to increase these t values by 0.2 each time. So what I'll do is a little trick, a little formula saying equals the previous t value plus 0.2. And so that means if I click and drag this down, we can stop at 5 because or it'll you know go up by 2, 0.2 each time all the way up to 5. And so what we'll eventually do uh, using Excel is find the y value here and then be able to click and drag that all the way down in order to find the y value at 5. Once we have that, this should be our answer. So obviously you can see the answer. We will just talk through how to get there. All right, so this is our initial setup. Hopefully there's no questions at this point. The majority of this problem will come in right now. So like right, uh, everything that goes in this cell will be the majority of this problem. So keep in mind, Euler's method, I'll just kind of type a random example here. A random thing. We know that Euler's method will always be the y value, the previous y value, plus y prime times the step size, right? And so what we're going to do is type this in to this one cell. And we'll talk about, you know, the specifics. So we start with an equal sign. We want the previous y value, which is the 4.286. But we don't want to type 4.286. Every time we see Y, we want to actually click on the cell B2. Every time we see T, especially in this Y prime set up to the right here, we want to click A2 instead of typing the actual value. So this is our Y value. Now we want plus Y prime. So now the goal is to type in this entire Y prime in parentheses here. So Y prime is 0 .1, uh, 0 0.000923 times t, so we want an asterisk, then the t value by hitting a2, or typing a2, whichever, and then times y, for which we will hit b2. We will go ahead and do plus t squared, so t again is a2, caret 2, so raised to the second power, plus 0 0.000846 times asterisk y squared. So we click b2 and we do caret 2 to raise it to the second power. That whole thing in parentheses here is y prime. So what now what else do we need? We just need to multiply this y prime times the step size. So the step size is what? Just 0.2. So 0 0.2 and for that one that'll you know remain the same the entire time. So we don't have to like click on some cell to represent it. So now this should be the estimate for the y value at 0.2. So the way we've plugged it in with all the B2s and A2s and everything, it should allow us to click that corner and drag it all the way down in order to fill in these y value approximations using Euler's method. And so we see down here at the bottom, 44.93, one matches our answer. And that's it. So I'll go ahead and do one more example of this one. I'll start by opening up just a new Excel page and we will get started. All right. Bear with me here. All right. So T values up here, Y values over here, starting at a T value of zero again, but now the step size is what? 0.4. So we'll go previous T value plus 0 0.4. Let's see if we can do this very fast this time. So we click and drag this until we see a 6. Okay, that's a little easier because 6 is a greater, uh, 0 0.4 is a greater step size. So getting to 6 takes, takes less value. So now in the Y spot, a Y at 0 is 2.571. Can't forget to type that in. It's in this cell. 
that we will type in the previous y value plus y prime times the step size. So y prime is just this here. So t, every time we see t, we hit a 2 plus 1.05 raised to the power of 0 0.162 times asterisk and then b2 to represent the y. So once we close this off, this set of parentheses represents just the exponent, and so we need to close that off once more to close off the y prime. And then we multiply the y prime times the step size as we've done in the previous Euler method problems. I don't know what the error is, but we keep accepting it, so that should work. So now we have our y prime typed in correctly. We highlight it, or we click and drag that corner down, and we end up with 25.892, which matches the value for the correct answer. And that's it. If you have any questions or anything on this, please let me know. Um, but I hope this helps. All right.